Hoodlum is a 1997 gangster movie directed by Bill Duke. Lawrence Fishburne plays Bumpy, who takes control of a black Harlem gang in the 1930s and fights a turf war against an alliance of Italian and Jewish gangs. This kind of movie isn't really my thing, but it's got a big cast of interesting characters, some familiar faces. It's all right. Today's math props appear in a pair of shots moving through each gang's headquarters. Both sides are running illegal lottery operations. Numbers games. I guess these guys are counting the money, keeping track of everything. The Italians have this machine here, which looks like a merchant adding machine model H9. And in Bumpy's house, you can see a comptometer over here and a big black box in the back there. You don't get a good look at it, but it looks like maybe an early Victor machine. They got a little thing on the back like that. These specific models of the Marchant, the Comptometer, and the Victor, they were all made in the 1920s and 30s, and it would have been pretty common and easy to get at the time. So I'd say they're all perfect. But I think they could have done more here. It's time for a Math Props Backseat Drive. These two shots together paint the picture of the two rival gangs. You can learn a lot about these people by comparing the two scenes, and I like that. The Italian shop is all business, kind of quiet, everybody's very deferential to the boss. And the Harlem guys are scrappy, more of a family. It's loud, people are working but having a good time. Juxtaposing the two shots tells a clear story that builds the setting. But the machines aren't really helping to sell it. First of all, Bumpy's guys have three machines, but the Italians only have one. The Harlem guys are supposed to be underdogs, but these calculating machines are probably the most expensive things in the building. And they got three of them? I would have given the Italian guys maybe five machines, all nice matching models, real clean, all in a row. Show some guys in suits doing them real fast, you know, like these are real professionals. And then the Harlem guys, you could give them two machines, but make them like two different models, kind of dirty. Maybe put a few guys crowded around each one. Maybe would have sold the whole thing better. Eh, what do I know? It's fine. Unfortunately, nobody actually uses these things on screen. They probably just grab whatever props they had, but I'm not sure they're really the right machines for the job. For both operations, I would have expected to see ordinary printing, listing, adding machines that print out the numbers as you add them. This was the standard tool for simple accounting and record keeping. That is what this machine does, but you can hardly see it. The ones you can see are the Marchant and the Comptometer, which don't print and are designed for fast multiplications. They're less natural choices for this kind of work. Still not obviously wrong, I guess. The film also has two nice NCR cash registers and lots of great car props. They drove around on real streets, but they held on to this shot a little bit too long. In conclusion, I give Hoodlum my math props rating of good. Thanks to David John Lees for the tip, and thanks to James for the encouragement. Let me know if you see any more. 